Welcome to Next Trekking Adventure. We hope that you like and subscribe to our channel. On this episode, we make it to our first harvest host, Eagle Haven Winery in Cedro Woolley, Washington, not far off the I-5 corridor. Perfect for those people making the trip either north or south on I-5. This was a great layover spot. The people are awesome, and we made some really good friends. First harvest host! <laughs> So hey, we are next trekking adventure, and uh, we are at on the top of a scenic mountain at the Bison National uh, Refuge, and you know we just wanted to introduce ourselves and who we are. So I'm Mark. I'm Terry. And we're next trekking adventure. We sold our bricks and sticks, and we travel full time. Terry works remotely, and. Uh, I'm retired. Well, I'm not retired because <laughs> I'm trying to do this YouTube thing. If you like our content, we just ask that you like and subscribe. It's our first harvest host. And we're here in the orchard. We got all parked. Just a little worried about the grass. We're still in the Northwest. And as you can see, like the mountains there, see those clouds? I was like, Ee! so I got close to the exit, <laughs> and uh, here with Miss Terry. What do you think of this place so far? I love it. It's so peaceful. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get out of these people's way. <laughs> so we just met some more people, and which is kind of what we like to do, what? and uh, met some people leaving and uh, got them on our Facebook page, exchanged their information. They gave us tips on our next trip, secret trip, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, where we might park uh, the fifth wheel for a little while and spend some time someplace else again. <laughs> but uh, it's all about the adventure. It's all about the adventure. So uh, we're excited to be here and uh, this is a new experience. We've had Harvest Host for a year, but we were I was still working. And uh, uh, Terry was, uh, still had to do a little bit of in the office stuff. <laughs> so we're, we're at this Harvest Host. And what's the name of it? Uh, Eagle Haven. Eagle Haven Harvest Host. And Eagle, ha Eagle Haven Winery. Oh yeah, sorry, not a Harvard. Yeah, Eagle Haven Winery. Winery. I'll get it right. So, and they've got some wild Dixie boutique. Boutique. Some retail stuff. We gotta go check that out. Yeah, so we'll go check that out. Um, it kind of looks like our vibe, kind of a westerny look. But yeah, we. Uh, it's sure beautiful, right at the base of the Cascades, the Northern Cascades in Northern Washington. So a uh, landmark town would be um, Mount Vernon, Washington, Cedro Woolley. I might have mispronounced that, but the big one is Mount Vernon. So, all right, we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go and maybe if we see stuff over there, we can uh, uh, video, a little video. Okay, so, bye. One of the things that's here is the Wild Dixie Boutique. So. Okay winery behind me and then they've converted this airstream <laughs> into a little uh, shopping area so I, I'm gonna spin it around and, and go in here the winery is awesome but meeting the owners of the Wild Dixie boutique she's fantastic her Instagram is shop wild Dixie boutique kindred spirits and they really made our trip we got to hang with them later on and uh, we just fell in love with them she has done a fantastic job of converting this old airstream into a mobile shop where she takes it to different uh, fairs uh, and events and sets up shop it's her full-time gig and she's done a fantastic job of curating products to sell 
You can also check out our website, www.wilddixieboutique.com. They're going to have a concert here tonight, so this is the perfect place. Roaming Threads Boutique is also on the property. She's fantastic too. Between the two of them, they kind of team up. Her Instagram is Roaming Threads BTQ. And kind of staying with that same kind of a Western theme. Perfectly curated, uh, super cute trailer. And also just a wonderful person. And we really did enjoy our time with them. We believe in supporting small business and these two ladies, their small businesses. Her website is roamingthreadsboutique.com. Go on her website and order some products. There's new ownership at the winery and things are changing. They're doing a lot of improvements. What they've done so far uh, is fantastic. This was our first harvest host, but we were not disappointed in the venue and the place and we had a great time. I think you would have to agree with me. The settings here is amazing. You're right at the foothills of the Cascades, northern Washington. The views are phenomenal. The area is spectacular. It's a great place to stop and spend the night, have some wine, listen to some music, and that's what we did. All right, well, uh, we are going to attend our first uh, little festival here at the vineyard and uh yeah we got live music what'd you say bluegrass and country bluegrass and country our type of people <laughs> so, so excited we got all dolled up wearing our wranglers and boots and uh we're gonna go in and uh party down <laughs> all right we'll take you with us so terry went into one of the shops and she's wearing one of her purchases and the owners are just Two neat gals. Um, they were in the healthcare world, and uh, they aren't anymore. Um, and they travel around in those trailers, and they go to big events and places like this. Not what it's called. Dixie Yeah. Well, we'll we'll show yeah. you the video. Um, or Can it's I probably in this book? video. Oh yeah, I'm a cute little sweater. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is why we wanted to do this lifestyle is we've met several people here today and all of them really neat. Yep. All of them campers. Darby uh, and Carmen were amazing. <laughs> we didn't get the other people's names. Yeah. They were a lot of fun too. But you know, um, Two of them are heading up to Alaska from here, and um, we're going to follow their journey as they travel around, and they're going to follow our journey as we travel around, and uh, that's what it's all about. been truly truly blessed being able to do all this and yeah five weeks into our adventure we got hit with a setback and lost everything in that fire but you know we are blessed we have met multiple people here we're sitting at this cool winery 
it's a harvest host and the owner comes out and says you guys have got to come out and check out this sunset and I'm just telling you I'm blessed this is what this lifestyle is all about I hashtag chasing sunsets but really it's about meeting people experiencing things going to unique places and meeting neat people and just here at this harvest host we've met people from Canada from Oregon from Washington the owners of the winery or the orchard and the farm and this is amazing. Miss Terry's in there listening to music <laughs> from the band. Well, we ended our night at Eagle Haven Winery, the, our harvest host, listening to music, having some beverages, doing a little dancing. But it poured that night, and uh, the next day, we had a little bit of trouble getting out. Well, a lot of bit of rain this overnight, and now we're a little bit stuck. So the harvest hosts, Tina and Tom, are going to pull us out. It would mean a lot <laughs> to us if you liked and subscribed to our channel. And we'll see you on our next trekking adventure. <laughs>